All right, let's move ahead. Uh, the next speaker is Mr. Dharmam Shah, Head Digital SDI Mutual Fund. Dharmam has over 17 years of experience and he's responsible for overall sales and customer experience. Dharmam, sir. Suppose we will be having a panel discussion and then we'll be starting with the awards. Thank you. Uh, hope I'm audible. Am I audible? Yes, it's actually difficult to handle the last session of the day, right? So I think some of our colleagues discussed about tea, right? So I'll, I'll just give an anecdotal example. So let's say, hum chai kaha we have three major places. One, we have it on the tapri, which we like the most. Second, we have it in a mediocre kind of a restaurant, which is like a few chagar or Ram Krishna or that. And one, we have it in five star, right? Now just imagine, we are all having a cup of tea. And suddenly we realize there is a fly in the tea. What would be your reaction? What would be your reaction? Right? If you are in five star, you will just laugh and you should, you know, kind of you will blast out basically. And you will call up the manager, you will ask him to call the, you know, the floor manager or the head of chef or whatever, whatever, so on and so forth, right? If you are in video or uh, just in restaurant, you say, Are you could give it to change chalo. And if you are in tapri, pata nahi, a chichi ka hoga. You get it? So what happens? The point what I am trying to say is, the world we live in, we deal with customers and higher the expectation from customer, the higher the retaliation. So when you are dealing with customer and you are dealing with customer experience, it is very important to understand that if customer looks value in your proposition, the world we live in, world has shifted. Oh, gay the customer satisfaction, customer delight. Today we live in the world of customer obsession. Right? So whatever you do, the way you react, it is very important that you are nimble, you are agile, you are very alert in response to what has been expected. Right? So I'll, I'll just tell you those. I think this is common. I think this has been discussed whole day. I'll not get into it. But customer centricity is what we all live for. Again, it's journey from satisfaction to delight to obsession. Now, why obsession is necessary? Because we face a lot of challenges. So tech companies, BFSI, it's very easy, easy because you know, most of your interactions are digital and all. But challenges are much more for brick and mortar setup, right? So we need to understand. What was this? What was this? This was a product where the customer was dying for. No choice of color, no choice of this thing. Only thing is you pray that buyer will have time to deliver. Right? And today we live in a world where customer expects personalized. And this all vehicles come with a personalized batch on the device, on the in each unit. This particular unit is customized for so and so. So that is the kind of personalization level we are going. Right? Today customer likes more of subway than he likes this. So what we need to understand is that the world we live in, things are very difficult, very different, and same is the case for us. I represent the BFR side sector, right? So I think one question would I like to ask the house is, what market is there? What happened yesterday? So I think most of you would not be from BFR side, but Koda Gautam would come and ask, but RBI governor asked you to ask. Anything? Yes, the repo rate went up, 40 bits, and thanks to it, market lost out, few thousand points. Now for, for us, what is our biggest challenge? Kal ek din mein sare customers, sare distributors, do hi chiz sare. Ya to those who understand market, those who are evolved would like to put in money and those who are not evolved or those who are actually into shit panic, the first thing they will try and do is what? Mujhe paisa nikal hai. Now jab wo bolta hai, mujhe paisa nikal hai, for us, the cutoffs are at 3 o'clock, right? And when a transaction is happening through multiple channels, right? So we have physical, we have digital, we have other assets, we have and the channel partners who, who, whose platform the transactions are being done. And just imagine that he doesn't get a confirmation page. They reach to all the channels. Now what happens if all of my channels don't talk to each other? I'll not be able to give customer a response. Typical thing, yesterday someone wanted to put in 1 crore of rupee. The payment gateway confirmation did not come. Ideally, it gets auto reconciled within 20 minutes. But do you think if market gives so much opportunity, your ultra HMI client will have patience to wait for 20 more minutes? No. 
So that's where it's very important that you build an ecosystem which is potential in nature. He might call up your branch, he might call up your RM, he might call up your call center, or he simply, the easiest tool today, put a complaint on social media. The whole company will be running after you. Right? So the point what we are trying to drive here is it's very important the world we live in. It has to be agile, we have to be nimble, and most important thing is all our ecosystem has to be well connected and the response you try to deliver to a customer has to be very seamless, right? Now, most important thing to understand is that when we talk about the ecosystem, right, who are our stakeholders? So, CX, CX, well, say it's for customer, but believe me, our first customer is our own employee. Our first customer is our distribution partner. Our first customer is our branch representative which handles the actual customer down the line, right? So, I think our colleague Prakash sir already said, right, that things are very different in B2B setup, right? So, B and S. Is the initial point we have different verticals to be a B2C, B2B, uh, B2B, and B2B, 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 B2C kind of setup, right? So for us, it is very important that we create an ecosystem which comprehensively encompasses everything. So we have made sure that we are present, whether it's bots, it's, uh, it's a kind of website, it's a portal, it's a mobile app, or it is a, some other third party, you know, likes of Alexa and Google, uh, okay, Google and all that stuff. So we have been there part everywhere where our customer or where my distributor is. But one thing we need to understand. For me, customer, I have a huge base and you know, thanks to the kind of reach what we have, we have been able to get money from more than 95 pin codes of the country. 95% of the pin codes of the country, we have customers. So we have a lot of challenges of languages, we have a lot of challenges of reach, we have a lot of challenges of tech, the same. Despite of that, we have been able to reach, right? So most important thing, what we need to understand over here is, that when we are building an ecosystem, that ecosystem has to be complex. The kind of experience he gets on my app, he has to get it in my branch, he gets it in on my portal. The whole ecosystem talks to each other and the user experience has to be very seamless. And the biggest challenge as a B2B company we face is what? My set of distributors are very limited. So today we have a handful of, uh, let's say, a lack of uh, distribution partners across India. That is there and that number is more or less stagnant or growing at a very minuscule age since last five years. So the challenge is for is what? If I have one bad experience for my distributor, my repercussion effect is multifold. So I might get detained at multiple places because of one bad experience at the distribution level. So it is very important that if we have best of the system that you put in place. Uh, as I told, our employees are our key stakeholders. So we need to make sure that you know, we provide best of the resources, procedures and authority to our, our uh, the same sales guys so that whenever they are on the go. So I'll tell you what all small small things we have solved for because I don't like to brand or something but the point we are trying to solve for is what? The sales guy in the market and distributor is there and distributor asks that you know if I I'll do X, Y, Z amount of business what's the best you can do for it. So the system itself gives that you know this is the best thing you can do for it. So that's a kind of online real time approval of whatever additional marketing expenses which can be done and it is done real time. Right, processes, so like change of bank, change of nomination, whatever, whatever small, small things are there. But you are there with the customer and the customer says, I want to change my nomination. You should be able to trigger that request there in and there and you should be able to close it there in and there. So these are the kind of empowerment we need to make sure that we give our distributors, we give it to our employees. Because at the end of the day, your first and foremost brand ambassador of all the activities you do is your employee. Whether he is sitting in branch, he is sitting in call center, he is sitting or moving out in the market. So first and foremost stakeholder, what you need to make sure is you have best of the experience is your own employee. Once you have done it, I think the whole ecosystem takes care of itself, right? And I'll not get into it because I think this has been very repetitive, but just for the sake of repetition, the what things are what only channel experience can be because I think most of you who are there part of legacy organization, you will understand. That over a period of time, how things, uh, things and new systems got developed in our organization. So, keep it simple, account of which is the good money, which accounts have a software lady. Marketing of which is the marketing of the software lady. Customer service of which is the software lady. What happens over a period of time? So, we kept on getting different, different applications over a period of time. And today, what happens there is that from a 60,000 crore company, you become a 6 and a half lakh crore company. And suddenly, you find that, you know, my left hand doesn't talk to my right hand and my head doesn't know what's going on in my life. So the whole ecosystem has to be created in such a way that you know, all your systems talk to each other and you have that seamless experience. So whether it is customer, whether it is your own employee, we need to make sure that we build an ecosystem 
which is very cohesive and which is a kind of one stop solution for everything. So, any greater rate, better engagement, booster conservation, these are all, all basic points. But I, I just wanted to touch upon this part because you know, most of the time, the whole day we were talking about customer experience only from the end user perspective. We are not talking about from the perspective of the employees of the company, we are not talking about much about the kind of distribution experience, what is being expected. So, this is very important. So, I think that's it from my side. I'll keep it short and free.